Data exfiltration. Exfiltration sounds like a made up word. I never heard it before it became the go to word for the theft of information. Uh, essentially, it's the unauthorized transfer of data from a computer or network. That's what it is. So when a system in your network is compromised by a guest or a stolen password or a technical vulnerability has been exploited or whatever, the first step is usually privilege escalation. And you can hear about that in another one of these short videos. But the attacker has goals in mind, and that usually involves stealing something. Intellectual property, company secrets, internal communications, or sensitive records that can be monetized. The process of exfiltration is getting that stuff out of the network so that if the information may be monetized in one way or another, they're going to have their own copy. Email is a common way that data may be moved out of a network, obviously, if the attacker has access to an authorized email account, and they probably do. Sometimes after locating the data for theft, it's bundled up in a zip or a RAR or some other archive format and sent out as one big file. This can make it easy to detect because sometimes we're talking about terabytes of information. Uh, if the attacker uses FTP, SCP, SFTP, or another protocol that's easy to see on a monitored network, well, that's something you can detect. Other times, the information leaves just a little bit at a time, making it harder to detect. Some methods involve using types of traffic that are common. For example, infrastructure protocols like DNS, the domain name system. DNS traffic is happening all the time and it doesn't raise any flags. So DNS text records, TXT records, have been used for this purpose. So your network monitoring should be alerting on large data transfers that are not in line with average behavior, excessive use of infrastructure protocols, a series of large attachments going out in email, etc. However, I'll say this, if that's the phase where you're catching the attacker, you're quite a few steps behind. It's much better to root them out long before that happens.